Hey there. So here we have your um, cute little panties and my hourglass body. And this is a fresh version, fresh copy of my kit. So I've just appended your mesh into my kit here and it fits really, really well, but it doesn't have any vertex groups, which is if you have a look under this tab here with the three little dots and the triangle, um, <clears throat> there's absolutely no vertex groups here. So you haven't, when you bound the mesh to the rig, you haven't selected a target mesh for copying the weights from. So that's super simple to do. Um, you select your mesh and you select the Avastar rig and you can actually set that into uh, pose mode. It doesn't really matter if it's pose or object mode. And then you pop down to the Avastar panel. You go down to the skinning section and it says bind to armature strategy meshes. You had yours selected to bones, which is incorrect for this um, process. Um, set it to meshes. And then you want to select a mesh to copy from. So in this case, we want to copy from the physique hourglass mesh. And if we have a look down here, you will see the physique hourglass in the list there. If say you were making shoes, uh, and there were high feet, then you, uh, you'd, set, you'd set that, for example. Um, it won't show a mesh that's not visible in the scene. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of meshes here, Physique Original, Original Petite, etc. Um, and they will not show up in that list unless they're actually visible in the scene. So I've got the Physique Hourglass visible, select it, and then select Bind to Armature. And uh, Blender goes and does its little thing there. And then next time you have a look at this, you should see a bunch of vertex weights. A vertex groups have appeared over in this list here. And how many you get will depend on how many bones are influencing the area that your clothing is covering. So in this case, we have pelvis, hip left, pelvis, hip right, right upper left, left upper belly, etc. So so now if we jump back over to the Avastar sliders, we should be able to adjust these bones um, and have your underwear fit. If you find that there's an odd little jump when you do this, you can actually apply, you need to actually apply the um, transformations on this mesh bikini here. So you just go into uh, select it, just go into object apply. Uh, object apply rotation and scale and then select location as well just you know to be on the safe side and then you'll need to go and refresh your bind so you go back down to the skinning panel press that little refresh arrow there sometimes it'll be red sometimes it won't so it's a good idea to refresh the bind and then you can go ahead and um, change your uh, change your setting so I'll just refresh that bind And Avastar does its thing. And now when we go into the hip width, um, hip length, etc., it all looks pretty good to me. Um, your leg muscles, doesn't really affect it. And this, mind you, is with um, a little to no actual weight painting. So all I've done is copy the weights from the hourglass um, body here. And it's just gone ahead and copied everything. If you want to, you can uh, jump into weight paint and go into vertex select mode, select everything with the A button, and then go down to tools, smooth, all groups. And that'll just make it uh, a little bit smoother if you've got any, um, any jagginess areas there. But I didn't see any problem with this, just copying the weights across. And so now we jump back into object mode and that is ready to upload into SL and it should fit once it actually gets in there. So um, yeah, I'll keep chatting with you in Discord if you have any problems once you've finished watching this video.